So his hair is growing from front to back, so I'm gonna start in the I'm gonna start in the back and cut forward. I just want it completely dry. I'm probably gonna run out of time for the beard, I'm not sure yet. So my only concern that I see right now is his last lineup. If you look at his right temple here, so his, his hairline is here, and it looks like the lineup went back to here. So I may do a little clipper over comb, try to fade that out a little bit before I edge him off, because I don't want to go back in off the natural hairline. But as I said before, uh, let's worry about one thing at a time. It's called the finished because we do it last. You, never, you don't start with the finish. So would everybody agree that his hair is growing from front to back? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold your head just down so everybody can see. Now, if I come through this way, are you all gonna be able to see me? What I'm doing? Okay. So because his hair is so thick, a lot of times we'll take um, on flat tops a three zero blade, which is say your adjustable clipper all the way close. But I'll use the atta that that attachment on my metal clip um, on my metal blade on on this. But in this case, I'm gonna go one blade longer. Uh, o A. It's just a little bit wider, so that's like your adjustable clipper halfway, because his hair is very thick and wavy, and I want to, it'll grab the hair easier. And the wider the teeth that you use, um, or the more narrow the teeth that you use, you're going to get like that real blunt military cut style. Um, the wider the teeth, you're going to have a more spiky look, so I want to be somewhere in between. So if you're going to do like a military flat top or the horseshoe flat top where you see that, you know, the skin through, then you're going to use your 3 zero blade. Okay, so we're going to get our set, just like any layer cut, I get my center guide, I'm going to keep my comb parallel to the floor at all times. Once I round it, it's all over, flat top is gone. We have to keep the corners. So I'm going to start in the back, I just want to show you first, now see how all this hair is hanging over? So when I start in the back, I have to start angling it this way and blend it. Okay, so see we're going from shorter to longer, so that's what I'm doing. And I want the front to be the longest, so I'm going to angle up as I work towards the front. Okay, so back down. I missed my barber chair. <laughs> this is a zero A. So see how small these sections are that I'm taking? Very small. This way I don't wind up with any clipper marks or lines of demarcation. And now what I'm going to do, that same imaginary line I took straight up, I'm going to take straight out. I'm not going to angle down. We want the front to be the longest part of the haircut. Okay, and then we'll comb it back. We'll lift his head up. Let me take a peek. And I'll pull him off the stage. All right. So now it's starting to look square. So what looked really, really intimidating in the beginning, now all of a sudden is not so, hopefully not so intimidating. Now on all those postcards on everyone's chairs, that's my website. It's a 70 page website. I have tons of free material on there and free lesson plans. So you can go on there and look at the flat top lesson plan and you can read it uh, for free and you're gonna, we're gonna go, it goes over all the same steps. And it shows you graphically of what sections of the head that you're, that, that you're doing each step. Okay, so I'm still parallel to the floor. No. I'm not, I want to leave this one a little bit longer, a little more stylish. I want to see how far Daniel can make it to the front door with the girls chasing him, or without any girls chasing him. How far do you think you're going to make it? Maybe out the front door? Okay, so, so I'm not worrying about this. Don't worry about it. Just get it square and flat across the top. First step. How are we doing? The right side. The side I didn't the side I didn't do yet, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Customers do that to me all the time. It looks good, but this side is uh <laughs> So comb is parallel to the floor. I have my center guide and my white comb so I can see it. Now, 
I'm going to stand on the opposite side. If you can face this wall. Okay, good. Now I'm going to comb in this, this way. I tilt your head a little bit. There we go. So can everybody see that here? I have my center guide. Okay, that comb has to be parallel to the floor. Do not round it. And then we'll angle it down just a little bit in the back. 